and this one is looking perfect small beautiful icons everything is working fine and 100 percent responsive for all the devices okay so looking fine everyone hope all of you are doing great and welcome back to full stack nft marketplace project video in the last video we had built our login and sign up form if you haven't watched that video i'll link in the i button on the description so you can follow and make sure you save this playlist and in this article so all the updates you will find in this playlist are in this article so you can be updated okay in this video we're going to create the contact us form so let's start with that i have opened the project in my core editor make sure you do that so first thing we're going to do is to create the page for it so we'll call it contact us and it's going to be an ages we'll type rafc we have to create the css file for it so before we do that let's come here let's create that okay so let's go get into this style folder okay and sidebar we need to copy this icons and simply paste it because we're going to use a couple of icons in the contact us form okay here we have the icons simply remove this one and let's come down we have to import the icons like outline mail and that's coming from react icons hi we have to do the internal import and we have to import the style file so i remember that i haven't created the style file so let's come here go to the style folder and we have to create a style file contact us dot module dot css and that's what we're going to import here so that's coming from the style folder okay so that's the folder we have to import the let's say form style because again we're going to use that form components here in this contact form okay so we need to import this style for that as well okay form style so that's form style is coming from the let's say dot dot con account page form dash and we have this style file okay so these are the two style file one is for the contact and one is for the form component okay so let's simply come here we have to import the button and that's coming from the component and component index so these are the internal import we have and now we can start working on the jsx part so simply remove this one and we'll take the div it will have a class called style dot we'll call it contact us inside that we'll have another div it will have a class contact us dash box and that we're gonna have let's say h1 we'll call it contact down below we'll have another div it will have a class called style contact us dash box and we'll call it let's say box and that we're going to have another david we have a class called style contact box box dash left in that this will have a light so we're going to have two divs and inside that we're going to have a let's say we'll have a div it will have a class called contact box box dash left and we'll call it item in that we're going to take a mm -hmm, We'll take this h3 and we'll come here and simply copy that data and paste here. we'll take the paragraph come back here copy that data and paste here. simply that's the one and we'll have down we'll take this contact box box left and we'll call it um, item and that we're going to take this h3 and we'll simply copy that one paste here we'll take a p tag and we'll simply paste the data okay that's the one we have now simply we have to replicate this one more time and we have to make the changes copy that one and simply paste here and simply change this number select all these here and change it okay so that's what we have simply do one thing and this time we have to copy one more time and because we want to display the icon so let's come here copy this and simply paste here and here we're going to display the icon simply remove this one here we'll take the h a anchor and here we're going to display the icon so icon will have so we'll have the name ti facebook simply replicate this couple of times and this will become let's say ti linkedin ti linkedin this will become ti youtube and this will become let's say ti instagram so these are and one more we have this twitter okay so these are the five icons we have okay so that's looking absolutely fine now we are done with the left hand side now we can start working on the right hand side 
So simply bring this down and we'll have this form and inside that we're going to render the form component but we're going to simply copy and paste a couple of forms so let's come here go to this close this page and close this files close this one and come up here go to this account go to this form and from here we're going to take a couple of things so first thing we're going to take this this username we need simply copy that and come back here and paste here okay that's the first thing we need okay simply close this one and we need the email so let's open that okay this is the email we need this as well simply select this one and come back here and paste right below so that's the email we have and let's come here we need the descriptions and this is the one we need simply select all these descriptions and close this one and come here and paste here so that's the description and here we have to do the changes in the style file okay so let's have a look so things are looking good we don't have any issues and here we have this form style and that's the style we want to pass here okay simply change this select all this we we'll select only forms okay and now we have to replace that save it and save it now we have to can start the application but before we do that let's come here and go to this navigation you know the drill and here we have to change that so go we'll have to go to this so we go to the help section and here we have this contacts remove this save it and let's have a look it's too good and now we can open the application and click on this help and click on this let's say contact us and here we are you can see things are looking good we have all the components in the form component and we have the data we have written okay things are looking perfect so that's what we have now let's come back to the code and now we can start styling but before we do that we need a button okay so let's take a button and we'll provide the props we'll say let's say send message and we will have a handle click function so currently we want to have this empty function and we'll have the custom class we'll call it style dot button okay so that's the entire thing JSS for this and everything's looking fine let's copy this one and close this and now we can start working on the CSS so let's make it side by side and we'll target the contact us with is going to be let's say 100% box contact box is going to with is going to be 60% and margin 0 auto let's come down we'll have the media query and we'll say max width is going to be 35 em and with is going to be let's say 90 percent on a mobile device that looks pretty awesome let's come here we're going to target that box h1 and text align center font size is going to be 3 ram font width is going to be 900 so that looks good let's come down we're going to target that box box and we'll say display is going to be grid grid template column 1fr and 2fr gap is going to be 5 ram align item center align self is going to be flex start and margin bottom is going to be 10 ram so that looks good okay you can see this is how it will look now let's come back to in the media query and we'll target the box and box and we'll say grid template column is going to be 1 fr and gap is going to be 1 ram so that's how it will look on a mobile device looking perfect and let's come here we're going to target that um, box left and it will have the items p it will say line height is going to be 1.2 and width is going to be 80 percent phone size is going to be 1.2 ram and save it and you can see nice looking good we'll come down we'll target the box left item a and we'll say phone size is going to be 1.5 ram and body rate is going to be 50 percent padding is going to be 0.3 ram and why these styles are not taking place okay i think we have made some mistake okay let's come down we'll target the button and we'll say with this margin top is going to be let's say 2 ram so it will have some space from the top and let's scroll down here you can see and that's look good but still this class are not taking place box left let's come back to the gsx and let's have a look what we have called 
so here we have that okay here we have that box box okay we have double box so make sure you do the changes con contact us box box left item a okay make sure you do this change and now we can save and do the same change on here as well so on here and here we have the same one simply copy and change this as well and you can see stars are taking place so things are looking much better now you can see it's look beautiful so that's what we have things are looking perfect perfectly aligned now let's have a look so this is how it will look on our desktop you can see we have this one data and this i think we have to decrease the font size a little bit so this is the data and let's change the name okay description email so let's come here go to the j6 and here we're going to make the changes this will become full name and email is there and this will become message save it reload the browser and here you can see it's changing now we have to decrease the font size to this section okay let's come back to the css and here we have where is the p here it appears. let's make it one ram only and this one is looking perfect small beautiful icons everything is working fine and 100 percent responsive for all the devices okay so looking fine so make it full screen and with this we are done with this okay let's come here and simply delete, upload the code to get up so delete this folder and delete this one this one simply close this one and initialize this get add and now we'll come back to get up and create a new repo which you guys already know let's do it very fast nft marketplace and we'll call it contact us hit enter and we have to initialize all this command so let's do it very quickly copy and paste hit enter and we have to push to get up so it's happening loading loading and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so if you haven't saved the playlist then do so save the article because all the update you will find in the playlist in the article so you will not miss any update in this complete full stack and empty marketplace project okay so make sure you do all this thing and here you can see we have finally done with this entire upload come back it up reload the page and here you can able to find that so in the next video we going to build this about us page okay so there are two more pages are left about us page and subscription page and we have built almost all the pages and i keep that block page and block individual page okay for a additional so if you want me to build those pages so i can build otherwise we can move to the dynamic data section and started introduce starting working with the smart contract okay so this is the component we're going to build in the next video okay this is the beautiful one now we have this block section so if you guys want me to build this section then definitely do leave in the comment section so i can build this one and the block page as well okay this page as well okay so let's come back to the curator and with this we are done with this entire entire contact us page if you guys have any doubt any queries do leave in the comment section and if you haven't saved the playlist make sure you do that because all the updates you will get all the updates you will get in that okay so that's it in this video in the next video we're going to build the uh, about the, uh, about us page okay so let's move to that